Hello, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. I hope everyone's uh, had a nice spring and uh, looking forward to an enjoyable summer. Today I'm doing a video source inspection on a totally refurbished uh, Integris HTC 8010 box and cassette washer. Uh, SciTech, uh, we are the uh, world leaders on refurbishing the HTC box washers. Uh, we also offer 100% spare support. We offer motor support, hub support, uh, spray arm support, armor on controller support, all your HEPA filters, all your P filters, all your uh, air heaters if necessary for the air, also your dry heaters, uh, complete solenoid support, and so forth. I'll show you the quality of our rebuild when I open the tool up. Uh, in this video, what I'll do is I'll review our, our overall remanufacturing process, show you the quality of the tool. We'll go ahead and start a process run. Uh, the dry cycle takes 47 minutes. It's programmed in this one, so it's kind of boring when it starts to run because you can't see anything. It just makes noise. We'll then turn the video off and um, go ahead and, and turn it back on right at the end of the process so you can see the uh, drying of, of the cassettes. Uh, we do not give our customers a uh, name out on our videos because this is uploaded to our YouTube channel for their review, but their PO is 66430, and this customer is in the United States. So, to give you an overview, I'll start from the top. As you can see, this, the HTC box washer utilizes uh, process racks to hold either your cassettes or your um, uh, boxes. This customer has purchased a rack, one with cassettes and one with boxes. During this video, I'm just doing two uh, cassette uh, systems. Uh, when I talked about support, this is the bottom hub assembly, and there are, um, these are the spray arms. We offer these all new. Uh, we offer uh, all the new internal parts. We offer the pass-throughs. We offer the top spray arms, the top spray hubs. Anything and everything you can see on this system, uh, we can offer as uh, a spare part. We also are quite busy now of doing uh, in-house refurbishments. Either we come to customer sites and spend a few days at their site and, and uh, work on repairing their tool for them there, or we have customers send us the tools to us and we actually go through our complete remanufacturing process. So start off with the chamber. You can see this chamber looks great. The stainless steel has all been uh, clean, uh, gone through. Uh, we've replaced any of the uh, spray arms that were necessary. Uh, there has been full functional testing. Uh, all of the motors have been gone through, and I'll review that in a second. So as you can see, it looks beautiful on the inside. Down below, I've already un un unlocked this. This is the, um, uh, the HEPA filter and the pre-filter are downloaded in here. This is where we have the, um, the hot, uh, dry uh, elements. This is the blower for the dry assembly. This is the, the uh, DI pump uh, that we've rebuilt. As you can see, on the 8010, it uses one pump that splits and goes to both sides of the chamber. We also have Magna Helix. That'll make sure that uh, you have the correct exhaust on your tool before you can run it. So as you can see, it's in beautiful shape. It looks, it, you wouldn't even know, it almost looks brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door, make it easy for us so it doesn't rattle on me. All righty. Uh, and what I'll show you here, up in the head casing, uh, actually it might EMO, let's find out. Nope, okay, yes it did. I'll have to restart that, it's not a problem. Here's our head casing, we've gone through the SysMac armor on controller, it looks beautiful. Uh, all the wiring is nice and clean, uh, everything has been fully tested. Uh, you can see it's, uh, everything's color coded and it looks fantastic. Uh, again, the, the head case is not meant to be open, so when you do open it, it does an uh, EMO, which I knew it would do when I said that. Let me lock this again, okay? That's how you simply lock it. Okay, the system's come back online. Perfect. All righty. So, um, with the uh, Integris box washer, as we stated before, it uses process racks. So an operator, usually with a stainless steel next door, loads the process rack. Um, in this case, again, it's got two sets of, uh, two racks of uh, six inch cassettes, and you simply slide it in. Just like that, and the other one. When you close the door, this is an inherent to the box washers. We always put a note to make sure you, you hear the latch because you'll hear a click. There you go, okay. So, once you've loaded your racks, you simply hit start. The process will be three washes, three rinses. It also has a surfactant spike. You can't see any of the surfactant spike. There's a surfactant pump down below. It's a metering pump. Um, and the washes are just pre-programmed. You can set the water temperature, the dry temperature. 
the surfactant time, the wash time, and the dry time. You cannot uh, set the actual uh, amount of washes. It's pre-programmed in the Omron system. So when you uh, have it loaded, you simply hit start. There we go. So right now, you're wondering why it's not making any noise. What's happening is the DI water is filling. Back here and behind the system, there's an internal hot DI tank. It's, I can feel it nice and warm. It's now filling the chamber. Uh, inside of the chamber, there's a float. Once it hits that correct level, it'll start the process. It usually takes about 20 to 25 seconds to fill. Uh, unlike the, uh, the newer versions, the 8020 and the 8030 have windows cut out where you can actually see the chamber. In the 8000 and the 8010, it's only a stainless steel front. Probably about another 15, 20 seconds. There we go. So now inside of here, what's happening, those two large wash arms I showed you at the bottom and the top are all spinning and spraying hot DI water uh, during the uh, wash cycle. It's gonna go through the predetermined wash cycle. We were doing 30, uh, it's got 15 seconds, it's gonna be 301 seconds. Excuse me, let's see something. Normally on the wash cycles, uh, they're much shorter. Because of our burn-in time, we put long wash cycles on here. Uh, most customers usually run between uh, 30 seconds and 90 seconds of a wash cycle. Uh, part of our burn-in process, we use extended time, especially on the cleaning, to make sure there's no leaks in any of the valving, the pump, the spray arms, etc. cetera. As, uh, so we can't really see anything, so again, what I'll do is talk about a support. On the HTC systems, as I stated, for the uh, 4,000, 8,000, 8010, 8020, and 8030, we offer uh, full support. If you go on our website and on the top left-hand side, there's a search box. If you put in HTC or any part numbers for HTC, you'll find that um, uh, we'll bring up, uh, about, I think we have about 75 to 80 uh, spare parts that are available. Um, the system uh, is no longer supported by the OEM, uh, so we are acting as the OEM across the United States, actually across the world right now. As I reviewed, it's kind of boring watching this. What I'll do is because we've got another still um, uh, three minutes, I'll also talk about some of the support we have in other web processing and equipment. Uh, I'll save our, uh, our key product line, which is the uh, spin rinse dryers, both the semi-tool and the vertex spin rinse dryers. I'll review those at the end. Uh, other supports we do on the web processing is we do quite a lot of the uh, KNS, Ultra T, Ultra Tech mask and wafer scrubbers. Those are the, the single uh, substrate cleaners. Uh, we always have two or three in stock. We have a, a, a lot of spare parts. We have customers that send those to us. So for wet processing, we have the HTC box washer family, and we have the whole KNS slash Ultratech high pressure cleaning family. All right, we still have about two minutes to go. Uh, part of what we also do at SciTech, uh, besides our spin rinse dryer and our HTC product lines, is we do uh, a lot of uh, photolithography work. I can see over in one of our tech desks over uh, further there, we're doing Cyborg pump repairs. We do Cyborg, Millipore, IDI. We do uh, complete pump packages. Uh, and or, in this case, I can see the customer sent us their pump for repair. Uh, we have pumps sent to us every week or two all across the United States for repair. Actually, all across the world for repair. Uh, and also in the... Um, photolithography line, we do the uh, YES uh, uh, LP3 and LP5 and a, a few other versions of the vapor prime ovens. That is your traditional vapor prime before you're uh, on your photoresist process. Uh, we also have a variety of uh, SVG uh, spare parts on our website and some SVG tracks. Alrighty, so we're going to have about another 
about another uh, minute to go. What we'll do is uh, during this process, and again, it gets very boring. Once we go through the wash process and it drains and it refills, we'll go ahead and stop the, the camera uh, because there's no reason to watch it uh, wash three times. Uh, and then what we'll do at, uh, I'll set a timer and we'll come back at the end of the, when it goes in the dry cycle at 47 minutes, we'll come back with about a minute or two left. You can see the end of the process. Uh, there, is, there will be a cool down that takes about a minute and a half and then I'll be able to open the chamber. Okay, we're almost there. And we got about another 35 seconds to go. Looks like we have about five or six seconds left. And there we go. What I like to do is I like to, uh, the camera can stay back there. I like to look to make sure I see the drain valve draining. Yes, I can see all the water coming out of the back, which is the next step. So what it's gonna do now, it's gonna finish draining and then it's gonna go through that same process again. Again, we have elongated uh, wash cycle of uh, six minutes, um, and that, and this, so that'll be 12 minutes. So I'll go ahead and um, uh, stop the camera. I'll come back in, which is in a dry cycle, and then I'll be able to show the end of the process um, for the customer. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is Jim Mullaney, and I'm back here. We're at the end of the process. We have one minute and nine seconds left to go. Um, at the end of the process, what happens is there's a cool down timer that's built in. You can't see it. So it, it, uh, it takes a few minutes and it actually won't allow you to end. It'll then come up uh, with a process over when it's done. We have 45 seconds. Uh, one thing that I made a mistake on, one of our process engineers came over to me. It does not do three rinses, three washes and uh, three rinses. It's one long wash, that's why it was five minutes and three rinses. So it does the surfactant spike, does a long rinse or wash as long as you want. In this case, we had uh, six minutes and then it goes through three rinses to rinse all the surfactant and any contamination out of the um, chamber. Okay, we got about 15 seconds to go. Okay. All right, so the dry time is over now. You can still hear the, uh, the uh, um, motor running uh, while it's um, uh, still um, cooling down the chamber a little bit because now the heater's turned off but the fan is still on so it's still exhausting out uh, the, the, the heat from the chamber. Why this is going through the uh, end of the process route, let me talk about uh, uh, one of our, our number one uh, product that Cytex uh, supplies and offers. We are the number one um, US manufacturer and we believe now worldwide remanufacturer of the semi-tool spin wrench dryers. We do the S models, the F models in Frank and the traditional STs. We have complete spare parts. If you go to our website at SciTechProcess.com, and you go to the top left, you can search for like 870S, uh, 2300, whatever model number, you can just type uh, semi-tool. We have three um, uh, links for the different models. We also have 100% spare part support on all those tools. So under those uh, third, first three links, there's spare parts for the S model, F and S, uh, ST. Uh, we also then have some uh, spare parts where uh, minimalized in the SST and SAT. Uh, and the one more link down below that is Vertec. Uh, we purchased the Vertec product line about two years ago. We are now the OEM for Vertec. We do quite a lot of Vertec spares, uh, bladder seals, uh, door seals, 
motor repairs, uh, control repairs, uh, the 1855s, the 1800S6, the uh, 1500S55, uh, the 1634, 1633s. We do all versions of the, the uh, Vertec. Uh, we, uh, we, oh, there we go. So, at the end of the process, reset. Okay, so the process is over, we're done. I heard the click, and that click is what the, you hear the door unlock. Oops. There we go. Uh, like before, I said that these uh, latches, you gotta push in and pop fast. So, as you can see, everything looks good, nice and warm. Cassettes look good, nice and warm, they look excellent. Everything is good. One thing that you'll notice, um, on the dry temp, we had 40 degrees F. Uh, the specification is much higher. Uh, customers, uh, if they want to have a uh, shorter uh, possible dry time, they can move this temperature up uh, to 50 or 60 degrees F if they like to. It's simply programmable by changing the uh, set point. So I was in the middle of finishing up on our semi-tool spare parts service. Besides doing selling systems and selling spares, we have complete repair service on the semi-tool. We have amp repairs, we have controller repairs, all versions of the controllers. We do motor repairs. Uh, we have customers send us weekly multiple machines in for a, a refurbishment process. We tax, take customers' tools in, break them down, do the same refurbishment as like they bought a uh, tool from us. Uh, so we are the, um, we are the supreme remanufacturer of the semi-tool S, T, S, and F spin wrench dryers. So, this will uh, end my uh, video of the fully refurbished uh, Integris Florer HTC 8010 cassette and box washer. Uh, this system, uh, this video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. We'll start packaging this up in the next couple days for our customer. Uh, again, today is Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. My name is Jim Mullaney. If you have any questions, you can feel free to call us at 916 797-9000 or from our website on any product page you can click contact sales and I'll send us an email. Thank you, have a great day.